the Conquering Mouse Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda, and we're here today with another episode of Curves Boot Camp. Now, Curves Boot Camp today is going to talk about landscapes and doing a very cool, gentle curve, you know, long, gentle curve, and that kind of looks, you know, like landscape, right? So, we're hoping you you come on and join us for that. It's, it's a kind of a fun skill and you go back and forth and all this stuff. It'll be cool. But I want to talk to you about a YouTube channel I discovered not too long ago. It's called Claudia Lash. Now Claudia's YouTube channel, she's just getting started, but she's very she has some very promising things on there. So go check her out. Tell her that Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapmore sent, sent you there and say hi or, you know, click like, share, subscribe, all the rest of that stuff, right? Now, this is also part of our Facebook group. These landscape, this landscape block that we're going to teach you, hang on to this one. Don't use it up because uh, we're going to have a little surprise where you'll need to know, know how to do these. But that's coming in the next year. So, come on in. We'll have to get to some sewing. Okay, this is one curved part that I just love doing. So what you do is you take, I, this is a 15 inch block, so what I did is I went up and I, you know, turned over the, you know, at the 5 inch and at the 5 inch, right? So now I've basically finger pressed this into thirds, right? Now, rules of painting and or pho photography and or whatever is your landscape is, you know, the one third ratio between sky, sky and land right or you know like you can have lots of you know lots of sky or lots of land but it's like you know the two-thirds one-third right so this is my one-third line right across here right so I'm going to now take my rotary cutter <laughs> you guys are sitting there like what are you gonna do this and I'm just gently curving in and down Okay, real, real gentle curves, just like that. Now both my, uh oh, I missed a little bit. Oh, I got it. So I'm going to take the little piece and I'm going to put it like this, right? So there's my landscape. So it looks like I have, like if you were looking at this this way, so it looks like my sky and my rocks or my, the other, if you sew it the other way, it's the rocks and the sky, right? So now that little press, finger press line will, will massage out. Now, what we did with the other ones, we cut one third or three eighths off. We're not doing that right now. But you gotta remember that you're going from, you know, a little piece to a big piece back. So this curve is like an a, a elongated, an elongated S. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna start I love these. I just love these. I think these are so much fun because you can put like plants or animals now, you know, applique. They're kind of like an art block craziness. But one thing I will show you, and I'm going to show you where you can see it on the back. You see where this intersects here, right there. From this point to this point, that's a quarter of an inch. And that's what's this, you're going to put your needle right here right in this spot, right there, right? And this is gonna go into your foot, right along to your foot, the edge of your foot. And a lot of people don't teach needle matching and I just find it was very useful to learn how to do all of that. Now you just drop your needle. Yes, I match up perfectly. Now I know I can sew. And I just go a couple stitches forward, a couple back. And I'm losing my foot. My leg is not quite that long. Now I gently just pull this together. And you're going to take your time because your S goes both directions, right? So you're going from a concave to a convex. So you might have to, like, you know, negotiate a bit. When you're negotiating, put your needle down, right, to trim stuff, right? Okay, so now I'm going to line this up. So I'm going this way now. I'm figuring out you can't see the brown very well, can you? Okay, so now I'm doing this. So I want to come back out. It's like sewing a porthole. 
Actually, we've done lots of videos on portholes or putting blocks inside portholes. And those are actually very good for this kind of thing. Because, I mean, a porthole, you just keep going and, you know, you kind of negotiate it backwards and forwards. Okay, now, I've got it. Now, these never work out, come out just perfect. But we're going to hope for the best. Okay. And, uh, okay. Come on. There we go. And we got a little bit steeper curve here for some reason. Oh, well. That's fine. <laughs> now, needle matching on the way out is this little white piece right here, this white tab, is hanging out a quarter of an inch. This is a quarter of an inch between my two nails here. And that's hanging out, and that's where your needle comes out. And I backstitch right there for a sec. Okay, let's get the other one done. And let's see. These are fun. Like I say, you know, it's... Okay, so my little white spot is right there. I just have to scoogee this up just a hair to get my needle match quarter inch. Okay. And I cut this in because it starts to create drag or pull. Now I haven't clipped any seams here either because I'm not sure which way this is going to want to lie, to lie flat. Okay. Now, I get all of that around. There. And go around this nice curve. Now, when you're doing landscapes, you always cut your block bigger, and then you can trim. That's something important that people need to remember. That you're not, you know, so you don't you don't, like if you're going to make 12 and a half inch blocks, make your block just a hair bigger so that you're, you know, like make it like 13 and a half or whatever. So you're not, you know, if you get, if you have to like, things, you know, shrink when you, whenever you put a seam in, right? But they also, they can shrink this way as well, right? Because you're, you're not ending up in the right spot or, you know, things, you know. Life, life happens and you just kind of relax a little bit now I know you can't see that but that little brown tip right there okay you line it up so that it's a quarter inch from the edge of the blue to where the needle is going to come out right there and we're going to just go right along yes it comes out perfectly beautiful okay now we're just going to cut this oops and see where our ta-da moment is. Ooh, nice. And that looks pretty good too. That's ending up nice. So let's get to our ta-da moments. Isn't this a cool landscape? This is so much fun. This is, I am uh, quite impressed how smooth and gentle that curve turned out. I haven't even ironed it yet. So I was thinking, well, I should probably iron it. And here's one where you've got more sky, but you've got that rule of thirds, right? You know, where it's like two thirds and one third, right? So I kind of think, okay, now I am going to show you the backs of these because you're going to see how this goes, right? Now I want my cameraman to hold it up. Now I put this in black on the bobbin. One side wants to turn up and one side wants to turn down. So you're going to have to clip this. And, you know, you're going to have to clip it so that it will lie the right way, you know. And you might just have to clip just in this little area here where it starts to change direction, right? So just to get it to lie flat, you might want to, you know, have half of it going up and the other half going down, right? That works too. But you only clip up to the thread and leave like a thread or two width between you and the sewn thread. And that will create this block. Now, I, like I say, I haven't ironed these. These are looking great. Um, I'm going to be using these, this type of thing, for a, a block of the month or a block of the week in the next coming year. 
I'm doing, hopefully we'll get some fun ideas and we're going to do some landscaping blocks and some other things. So if you do these, you're going to have to hang on to them because you might need them. <laughs> okay, so I hope you have a beautiful week ahead and that everything just goes your way and everyone is well in your family. Okay, you take care. All right, bye. My husband and I would love to thank you for coming along with us on our little fun adventure here that we're having. We do have a Facebook group now and that Facebook group is got some very very talented quilters in there and we love sharing and, and you know posting pictures and commenting and it's it's been a lot of fun and the advantage of the Facebook group is sometimes I drop patterns in there early so you kind of get a hint as to what is coming next after the nosegay sew along we're going to be doing curves boot camp right away so we'll get to sewing those curves and it'll be fun it'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of interesting little blocks that we've got to work on but we would like you to share, like, and subscribe. Telling your friends about us and, and letting them know that you kind of like our channel, that, that means so much to us here. So you take care. You have a fabulous week ahead. Okay, bye.